Okay, so since we've introduced the concept of never-ending projects and motorhomes, um, I'm going to go over a couple of the, I think, were pretty nice, cool projects that, that I undertook. Um, they're ones that are pretty popular or pretty necessary with everybody. First off, lighting. Um, it's great that we can now go and get these LEDs and literally drop our electrical load from 500, 600 watts with lights down to like 50 watts with the same amount of lights. I think that's amazingly cool and they really do work amazing and of course they last such a long time and fundamentally they're so much cheaper. If you go around, this one was full of fluorescence and you go around and buy those uh, 12 inch or 18 inch fluorescent bulbs, that they're, they're pretty expensive. Um, I got all the stuff off of eBay, and the thing about it is, you know, what I learned, it, it, it took a little bit there. There's so much noise, you know, in terms of products in that area. So you've got those little rolls of strips, and they have their application and whatnot. But what I used specifically were two lengths of pre-cut and pre-set up aluminum bars. And they basically have a connector on either end. For my 18-inch fixtures, I did have to cut a little off, but it's super easy. I used a pair of side cutters to, to cut the uh, aluminum bar. And then the very same set of side cutters, there's a little mark that you cut right on the LED. The other thing about it is you want 50-50s, which are the bigger LEDs, and also that warm white. I have a one that I did early on as I was learning and experimenting. I bought some stuff. Um, and I ended up with, you know, kind of that blue light. And it's not horrible, but it, you know, I'm old school. It, it's, it's not quite what I like. Um, like I said, they're the 50-50s. They're a little bit bigger or brighter. And, uh, you know, everything's all set up. So it's got the wire for you, a little pigtail of the wire. And then all I did was pull all of the guts out of the lights and put these in. You can get these in a number of different lengths. The ones that I got, of course, they're all in, um, you know, everything comes from China. One thing that I did do as well, they do come pretty quickly from China. I, I don't really have any problem ordering stuff. I've had very good luck. If the seller has good ratings, then chances are you, you're going to get your products. They put it in a bag and then they put it in an envelope and they ship it over and it really doesn't take very long. I got some from China and I got some from somewhere here in the U.S. But all you have to do on eBay is search for LED light bar 5050 and that will give you basically the, the, the product lines that, you know, area that you want to be in. And there's still uh, quite a few. The next thing that you can do is then check off U.S. only, and that will give you, uh, you know, somebody obviously that, that uh, uh, sells it over here. I didn't even think that it was any more expensive, but the bottom line is they will send it to you from China. You'll get it in about a week, maybe 10 days, but I, I don't think it took that long for me to get that stuff. And it's free shipping. Um, that I bought them in five packs at what is the equivalent of a 12 inch 30 centimeter I think and a 50 centimeter but they come smaller as well so you can you know add things to it those roll out LED light strips they're really nice for doing like under cabinets and you know that sort of thing I put that in clear plastic tubing I cut the tubing down the edge and then I put that right into it and then I took that and you know use that to attach up underneath, you know, like on my uh, Corian countertop over there, it has a gap about maybe a quarter of an inch, and I literally did that, and that, that came out really nice. Same deal, if you look around on eBay, you can find some of the little switches, um, you know, so you can dim them and brighten them. I didn't do anything with the colors, I mean, I, I'm just, you know, I'm looking for light, not, you know, a light show. I don't do much discotheque work in here, so, um, uh, you know, just white in that warm white like i said 3000k range is pretty much what i was looking for but uh, i took some pictures uh, when i did it and i'll walk you through it and uh we'll take it from there okay so these are the light buckets that i have in my vehicle they're really pretty nice they're aluminum 
uh, inside of them riveted up onto the top were all the mechanisms for the um, uh, you know fluorescent fixtures uh, ballast and the the receivers for the fluorescent bulbs I drilled out the rivets that hold held them in place it was really pretty easy I clipped off the wires left myself enough so that I could then afterwards with the LED stuff just wire right back into the switch so I didn't have to do anything really overly complicated with any of the wiring it was just after that hook up 12 volt positive to 12 volt ground on the lights to the switch and that was it I riveted the light bars in uh, pretty much in a very similar fashion as the previous fluorescent setup was and this is pretty much where I ended up I uh, have the two light strips in there these are a very very bright very very nice uh, white light and of course you know these things use next to no power whatsoever and lit up in the 12 inch ones I did one and then I, I did it with two bulbs two light strips then I went back and I just put one light strip in all of them because it was just so bright in here. It was too bright. I didn't feel like putting dimmers all the way around on all the different lights. It just, you know, it would have been quite a bit of additional work. And, of course, I ended up with, uh, you know, using a, a lot less fixtures. So that really worked out well. But these are really, really pretty nice, uh, you know, pre-fabricated setups for upgrading these type of light fixtures so if you have these type of light fixtures get on ebay like i said 3050 model leds light bar and uh you, you know in whatever length you might need they come four inches or so like i said they're they're um in centimeters up to the 18 inch and the 18 inch is about 19 inches and change and you just cut I think I cut two inches off of it and popped it right in place, but it comes with the ends. They're pre-wired, so you don't have to solder them if you're not comfortable with soldering. Um, they really, really worked out well. And like I said, my light, in terms of wattage bill for the system, boondocking and all of that, I, 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 I literally cut by 90%. So it's really pretty amazing. So that's the 12-inch units right there. And uh, like I said, that has a single LED light strip in it, 12 inches long. And uh, really, like I said, that's all that I felt that I needed. At night, it really lights this place up. And it's a nice soft light as well. These are the larger 18-inch uh, light fixtures. And uh, as you can see, um, no matter what I did, I couldn't quite come up with a way to not just have it flood the camera with light. Um, they really do a great job. And I think each one of those fixtures is seven and uh, about eight watts. So uh, that's a pretty considerable amount of light considering the amount of electricity that we're using. So um, they are a really fantastic addition uh, to any motorhome. So, all right, well, that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the uh, light repair job. I see a lot of videos where people get in there and just, you know, all the details and all of that sort of stuff. But I've, I've found that, you know, so many things vary from one end to the other that getting a good kind of general idea and then figuring out how to make it adapt and work in your situation is probably the best. But by all means, if you have any questions, um, you know, or want more specific detail about any of the things that uh, I did, just let me know. Uh, leave me a comment, and uh, I'll be more than happy to get back to you. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it uh, helped you out. And if you have any questions, I know before at one point in the video I said uh, uh, 3050 LEDs. For this application, what you want are the 5050 LEDs. Like I said, off of eBay, just search 5050 LED light bar um, and you'll be great. So, uh, like I said, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Please subscribe and uh, come back real soon. Thank you.